Good morning, everybody. It's Will here again. We're out in my shop this morning. We've got the forge running, heating up, getting ready to process a batch of trowels. Now, these are tools that I've already forged the shank. I've welded the blades on, and we're getting ready to cup them. We're going to use this tool. It's called a swage block. You can see it's got different shapes all the way around it. And these are all different inside shapes I can use to create what I need uh, for the trowels. This big one is exactly what I want. That'll give us our shape. We're going to use this fullering tool. It looks like a hammer, but it's really not. I'm going to be using it like a hammer, but it's actually intended to be a struck tool. Uh, but for what we're doing here, it works just right. So let's grab a couple hot ones out of the forge and we'll show you how it's done. Using our same heat that we cupped it with, we're going to move quickly into the vise and bend the shank. This gives you that little bit of offset you need to keep your hand working up above the soil level and make it a very effective digging tool. Okay, we've got our trowels cupped, ground. They're all nice and sharp. We're ready for that last critical step, which is heat treatment. We're gonna put them in the forge, take a heat to them, and quench them off in oil. That's what'll give us a nice hard blade that'll hold its edge well, and strong, durable material backing that up to make a tool that'll last a lifetime. All right guys, well we finished up our trowels. I got a different hat on and we're out in the garden. We're gonna take a look at these and uh, show you a little bit of how they work, our large and our small trowel. Let's zoom in close and get a better look at them. Okay, we've got a good job for our large trowel here in this raised bed. We've got some garlic that's way beyond needing to be lifted. Um, slice some of that grass out. That's what a sharp tool will do for you. Um, get in there and cut that stuff right down. Give ourselves some room. Okay, let's see if we can pop some of this garlic. There we go. It's a pretty nice clove. We've been planting this garlic here in the same spot for several years uh, in hopes that it'll do a little bit better each year. And so far it has. That one's kind of puny, but we always save our biggest ones, and that's what we use for seed stock. Oops, I cut that one up find him here. There we go. We'll save our big ones and use them for seed stock. Okay. Well, we've got plenty for dinner. Um, as you can see, this isn't much of a challenge for the trowel. This soil is loose and light and well amended. Um, the large trowel does take a nice big scoop. It fills up pots and containers quickly. So let's move over into uh, something that'll be a little bit more challenging job for it. Okay, so we've moved over here by the well house. We've got some comfrey growing in here and uh, it does well, it kind of takes over. And I wanna transplant some of it out into a different area. Um, it's not the best time of the year to do it, but this stuff is pretty vigorous. As long as we get a good chunk of root, um, it'll go ahead and take off and go. So first thing I'm gonna do is just use the tool to cut through all that and then I thought this would be a better place to show you the trowel than just working in the raised bed in that loose soft dirt. This is uh, stuff that's unworked, it's dry and hard packed and it's a little bit better test of the, the tool. So I just want to go all the way around it and kind of ring around there in hopes of coming up with a nice big chunk of root that we can get started somewhere else. Okay, from there, I'm just gonna dive in and start working it loose. There we go. There's a couple big chunks. 
that'll uh it's kind of rough handling for this stuff but it like i say it's pretty durable it'll take off and go just about anywhere okay guys thanks for watching that pretty well wraps up my little video on trowels we make the large trowel and the small trowel uh, if you've got smaller hands or you got harder digging hard pack soil go with the small trowel if you want to move more material per scoop get the big one but before i go i know there's some of you starting to freak out out there right now going but will what about that trowel with the hole in it I know you don't need me to tell you that on a day like today, it's important to stay hydrated while you're working outside. So, there you go. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Buy Made in the USA. It's good for all of us.